In this tutorial, we're going to talk to you uh, a little bit about how you mask off um, hair. And uh, in all my years of using, um, <coughs> excuse me, Adobe Photoshop, uh, hair, particularly wisps of hair, um, have always been this Achilles heel for uh, Photoshop. And I've seen so many softwares and attachments and action scripts um, all claiming the same thing in terms that they can um, they can help with this and none of them really have ever been in my opinion have never been that success successful um, or long-standing uh, certainly because uh, if, if, if it did what it promised um, I wouldn't need this tutorial everyone would already know about it so part of what you're looking at or when you're dealing with wisps of hair and stuff like that uh, particularly with photographs is like if you look in this example here <coughs> is that they're very soft it's because they're in motion she and her face in particular is the focal point of the lens even uh, her shoulders and most of her body um, are soft and out of focus um, so this is what's going to be part of the challenge is that the pixels are soft so you, when you mask these things out you're going to have to use like a soft brush at a low setting and you're also going to have to realize that you're trying to balance something here in terms of uh, masking it out so it still looks natural but realizing you're not going to get everything and your goal is just to not make it look like their hair is a helmet of some kind is hard-edged helmet um, I recommend masking with doing this kind of stuff again so that you don't lose uh, your pixels or damage your uh, initial photograph. So as you can see here, I have my initial photograph that we're looking at, and I've built one with a mask on it. And so we're gonna hide this out so you can see the mask. And see how it's already given me some uh, hard edges to it? You know, I'm just not gonna be able to get all of um, the wisps of hair, but I can soften this a little bit. And so what I typically do is since it's a mask, um, my pixels here are gonna be on the black so for example if I switch my paintbrush to white while I'm clicked on my mask here see how the brackets around my mask if I start painting in then I can start getting the background back so my pixels are still there I'm just masking some out and uh, not others so I'm gonna go to my brush tool since the you know black is painting out pixels um, and masking them I'm gonna uh, make sure my foreground color is black and I'm going to set my flow here, flow of the brush to a really low setting. So it's uh, from a painter's aspect so that it doesn't give me a full blast of paint and I can do this thing a little softer. So you see how it becomes a little softer and that's how I create that sort of out of focus sort of effect. So if I make my brush nice and big and just kind of hit on the outside of it, I can create the kind of soft edge of the hair. So I can go up here. And that's what gets rid of a lot of that helmet head kind of effect, is that you're literally um, taking the sides of their hair and you're making it into a softer version of it. So that if I were to put backgrounds with this kind of stuff, so create a background underneath it and uh, fill it with this golden color I guess whoops there we go um, and then that's how I can you know put up composite things you know it's like I can see right here um, some pixels um, and uh, that I could mask out a little further so if I take I brush down a little more in size, click on my mask again, and I'm going to set the flow down a little further again so it's, it's giving me really kind of soft sort of effect so I can kind of mask this out and build this up really nice and soft. And so around the edges of her shoulder here, you know, I can make my mask a little bit bigger, masking brush here, and just 
kind of go around the outside little by little, bracing a little bit more, a little bit more until that line eventually kind of goes away. And uh, of course, if I want to paint something back into the mask, then I switch my brush to white, and then I could, and in this case, I'm going to turn this off for a second, and um, I'm going to adjust my opacity of my top layer here, so it's just kind of like ghosting like here, about 50% is usually good, and then turn on my bottom layer so that I can click back on my mask. And then I could try to paint some stuff in, and even though you don't really see it happening, I'll show you in a second. I'm just kind of painting in a little bit of the wisps, just kind of in general. Alright, so I'm going to turn my original image off, and you can see where it's already kind of painted them in. That uh, if I start increasing my opacity of it so I can see it, you can see I'm starting to get some of those wisps in. And uh, you just kind of build those up in layers as well. But again, the trick is, is that it's so out of focus, and in this case it's picking up um, the background, uh, the grass and everything that's behind her. So it's not going to really give her a, the true wispy effect of her actual hair because of the out-of-focus nature to it. So I can capture the shape of it, but not the actual um, image uh, hair itself. And so in that particular case, what we would do is uh, we would go in and we would probably paint or clone um, elements of the hair, um, paint it in so it creates the illusion of those wisps of hair. But uh, masking hair off has always, always, always been kind of wisps of hair. And it's just the nature of the beast, but it's always been an Achilles heel for Photoshop. And uh, there's ways around it, but it's a lot of work, which is why, you know, composite artists um, are paid the way they are. And uh, uh, so, yeah, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of different techniques that you combine. Um, but you know, ideally, this isn't finished. I would. This is easily. Um, I could take um, easily. Uh, I would create another layer on top, possibly, and start cloning in hair from here, so it looks a little more wispy. Or painting it in, particularly with the tablet. <coughs> I could select colors from her hair and try and paint the wisps of hair in with a tablet and a pen on a tablet, I could get a lot more greater control than a mouse is gonna give me. Um, that I could even get thick to thin with the wisps of hair, but it's a lot of work. But, you know, when you put the work into it, it winds up paying, uh, paying off for itself. So uh, the real trick that I wanna get you guys to understand is that with the masks, um, is that uh, you can use the one trick where you're softening the, uh, the brush and uh, lowering its flow and uh, that will soften around the edges of their hair so they get less of a helmet sort of look, a plastic look. You know, same thing with their shoulders and stuff here as well. Um, but that's one technique that you can use when you're uh, dealing with hair in Adobe Photoshop.